Hey all, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another Antique Store Haul. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you today, with the exceptions of these three items and one more item, came from the Black Rose of Chambersburg. Didn't buy as much as I would have liked, but sometimes that's just how it is with wherever you go. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So these three items were purchased for me. Two from a live sale and one I guess somebody saw when they were out thrifting and thought of me. So I always greatly appreciate you all thinking of me and sending me things. You all don't have to do that. And yeah. So this came from Jody Renshaw's live sale, I believe it was. It's a female metadora planter. I've never seen one of these personally. And I saw it and I was like, oh, that's really neat. I was at her sale that one day. And I can't remember if it was an offer up or just a straight buy. But whatever it was, I just thought she was cool. And Debbie Vitali, aka Angelic Vintage Treasures, won it and had it sent to me. So thank you, Debbie. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry if it's a little late. I've been so crazy busy with everything. But I did want to go ahead and share it because she's fantastic. And what I do is she sits on my desk and I put my permanent markers in here in the back so that way I know exactly where they are when I'm pricing things for my sales. So she is definitely a treasure and I love it. Now this um, funny salt and pepper shaker set came from Christina Taylor, uh, Thrifting Up North. It's a set of um, boob salt and pepper shakers on a female body. So the boobs, oops, see, they're not, uh, you can't hold them up perfectly. Let me see, let me try. So yeah, sorry if it seems like I'm flashing anybody, but yep. Boobs sit on the top, and then just the female body. They do have a mark for Taiwan on the back, so they do have some age. So I thank you, Christina, for thinking of me as I drop one of the boobs. And these came to me unexpected from Misty, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. And let me see if the note's still in here. So you all know how much I love my pinup arcade cards. Let's see. I, oh, here it is. Yep, right here. So LaDonna Durvin was so sweet. She sent me these. These cards were gifted to you by LaDonna. Thank you so much. I love them to pieces. I absolutely love this devil girl. Look at that. That would be so awesome for Halloween. Ah, oh, I looked at this one, or I saw it in the bag, and I was like, oh my god. Thriftgasm all the way. She's uber sexy. We've got a girl on a phone. I don't have any of these, by the way. Well, maybe there was one that I do have, but I'm going to have to look at the one I have and see if it's in better shape. Because I do have a lot of cards that I get with other ones that I have already. And then I decide which one's in better shape, and then I put it with a lot, and then I try to sell them myself. I don't have this one, which is entitled A Popular Number. This is an Earl Moran. Love that. We've got an Earl Carroll's Vanity so I absolutely, absolutely love, love that one. And then we've got this girl here who is, I guess she's leaning up on a chair. Very 1940s. So this is the one that I do have. I'm going to look at the one that I have in my booklet and see if that one's in worse shape. And I'll just go ahead and swap it with this one and add it to the lot of other ones that I have that I want to sell. So LaDonna, thank you so much. And to everyone who's sent me things. I really do appreciate it, and it is, you do not have to do that. It is, and all of this came at a really good time because it's, it's been absolutely crazy with my job. However, I do have some news that I will be announcing with that very, very soon, so stay tuned. Again, thank you all so much. So now we can go ahead and check out the stuff that I got at the antique store. 
For only $12, I did get a copy of the 1963 Playboy calendar. As you can see, I have a sticky note in certain places as to not get demonetized. If you show any boo-boos and butt cracks, uh, yeah, I'll, my video will not be monetized. So I will go ahead and show you each of the pages with the sensor as best I can, because I don't, like I said, I don't want to get demonetized. So here's January. Here's February. Here's March. I really like this image a lot. Here is April. Here is May. Here is June. Here's July. I guess it must have been too hot because she's fully nude in this picture. Here is August. Everything's covered so I can show this one. Here's September. Here's October. So a little uh, break from the images. This was in there. I thought that was really cool. I guess you tear this out of the calendar and it gave you a subscription to Playboy for like a year or so. Here is November. And last but not least, here is December. So that's it for the Playboy calendar. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing the friend mail and the stuff I purchased off of eBay. So now we can go ahead and dive into the antique store haul, shall we? So I did spend, if you add it all up, it's just a little over $50, so like $52. This is the stuff that I purchased for myself, and there is one gift in here that Amy gave me when we uh, checked out. So I spent $9.54 on me. Let me go ahead and show you the first item. This is a really cool postcard. Um, it's got a record built into it. It's a really pretty lady and Santa Claus modeling a 56 Ford, or they're just standing right near it with all the festive decorations. I just love that. And so I think she'd seen it there the last time we were there, and she knew how much I loved it. And when we were checking out, she uh, handed it to me. I was, I was really surprised. So thank you, Amy. I love it. And this is um, Rosemary Clooney and Mitch Miller's Orchestra. That was not focused. I apologize on a 78 RPM. So that I just love the graphics. Wouldn't that look cool in a flower frog? Just fantastic, I love it. For only, what was it, $2? Yes, $2, I got this pipe. It is marked, is it gonna focus? Thermofilter imported briar. When you rub the handle and you smell it, it smells like petroleum, so it's probably Bakelite. And I love finding stuff like this, especially because the people will try to charge a lot for just one pipe, so to get one for two bucks and knowing that it's old, I'll definitely be putting that in my junk jar. So this was really neat, and I contemplated whether or not I should buy it because I thought it was one of those, like, new made to look old pieces. This is a mercury glass spider ornament. It was only a dollar and that's why I went ahead and purchased it. I thought it was really cool and again it's something I've never seen before and upon doing further research they did make webs and such for these so I was happy to get it and that'll probably be a junk jar item as well. So I was tickled pink to be able to get that for as cheap as I did. I got this squeaker toy elephant. He's rather small but he's got the trunk up and he was only a dollar, so I just couldn't say no to him. I love him. So he'll probably be a junk jar item as well. And the last item, or items I should say, that I bought for myself were these PY Japan Gay 90s uh, Man and Woman Salt and Pepper Shakers. There's a booth that's in this mall that has a, so they have a booth and then they have like a last chance wall. And what they do is if they is that if they have items that sit for a really long period of time or they just want to clear out inventory, they'll mark them down really significantly. So these were, along with another piece, which I think probably broke or was um, sold separately, 
they had like $30 on these, $30, $35. And of course, I just didn't want to pay that. And as you can see, the man does have some pretty significant damage. I might leave it as is because I feel like if I touch it up, it's going to look like a first grader did it. But yeah. So they were marked down to $5, so I had to have them for that because I've been eyeing them, and I just think they are absolutely fantastic. So that's everything that I bought for myself, so now we can go ahead and take a look at the stuff that I bought for resale. Okay, so I spent a grand total of $43.45 on items to resell. So let's go ahead and jump right in. For only $3.16, I found this really awesome orange luster teapot. I believe this is Czechoslovakian, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. No, it's German. I'm sorry. But look at that bright orange with the black stripe. How awesome is that? And remember, if you guys see anything that you are interested in that I mention is for sale in my videos and you just can't wait for my live sales, you can always email me and we can work something out. My email is down in the description box below. So if you see anything again, just let me know. And for $2.99, I did get this really awesome urn vase here. It's not marked. Maybe Shawnee or Royal Copley or something like that. Now it does have, and where are you? It does have a minor, minor chip right there, but... Or maybe it's a paint flaw. No, it's probably a chip. But even still, I really liked the colors on it. The bluish gray color. Somewhat clean on the inside. There's a little bit of dirt. It was probably used at one point. But I just couldn't leave it, so I had to take it. Okay, so moving along here. For only $3.16, I picked up this really awesome ceramic fruit basket. The only real issue with it is that there's some paint loss on this piece, which I believe is supposed to be an apple or a cherry. Everything else looks to be in pretty good shape. I mean, of course, you got some minor paint flaws, but with vintage stuff, you just expect that, right? So here's what the back looks like. It's, it looks like someone hung some picture wire in it years ago so they could put it up on the wall. This would look great if you're doing like a 40s, 50s themed kitchen. It would be great for spring and summer and fall, so you can use it for at least three quarters of the year. This was a really interesting piece of chalkware. I did pay $4 for it. At least I think it was $4. Yes, paid four for it. And it is a little bit faded, as you can see, but it's really unique. I've never seen anything like it before. Here's what the back looks like. It almost looks like it's cracked, but I think it might just be the paint that is. Now, granted, it has some issues, like I said, with fading of the paint and such, but this, this, maybe I can try using an eraser. Maybe it's just pencil mark. I will see and get back to you all on that, but that was just so unique and nothing I'd seen before. So this is one of those hors d'oeuvre pieces that goes in the center of a dish. I remember when... Uh, Tammy, Vintage Uprising Texas, went to whatever that really big outdoor market is that they have down there. I can't for the life of me remember what it is because, yeah, I'm sure after the video I'll, I'll remember it. But this rooster was $2.36. It would have an underplate and you could put your cheese in here, the cocktail weenies, uh, maraschino cherries, and yeah, no markings to say who produced it but it's a decent size and it would just look really good on display or a great centerpiece for your table now this was a really good find it's a how many sides does it have one two three four five so it's like a really weird octagonal shape it's got like a really neat looking like floral detail around the border and an intricate pressing on the center here. Probably a saucer of some sort. Paid about $1.20 for it, but that's not the cool thing about it. It does glow under the black light, as you can see here. I don't know who made it. It could be a wide variety of different companies that issued this. It could be Anchor Hawking, it could be Hazel Atlas, it could be Federal, it could be, it could be so many different companies. I'm sure if I do a Google Lens search with this pattern, I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. Or if you happen to know in the comment section below, you can always let me know. 
And I think because I got this at such a reasonable price, if it doesn't have a lot of resale value on eBay, I'll probably just put it in a live stuff for like 4 or $5 because I got a really good deal on it. For only $2, I did grab a grab bag of items. There wasn't a whole lot in there, but I'm happy with what I did get. I don't know that this is anything special. It's just a toy motorboat that goes on like one of those, like, I guess for what it is, a toy. Uh, it does look broken, so that might not have any value to it. So I might just end up throwing that away. These two are the items that were definitely worth the bag. Uh, we've got a Justin magnifying glass set. It was made in Hong Kong, so it's probably from the 1960s. That would look great for Halloween, don't you think? And then with it also came these binoculars that are still in the package, also made in Hong Kong. I would assume that both of these pieces are probably from the dime stores from back then. But I just thought they were really fun and definitely worth the $2 that I paid. For $6.50 a piece, I got two vintage Sears catalogs. Now, they're not, you know, 1950s or 1960s. They are from the early 90s. We have Fall and Winter for 1991 to 1992, and then we've got the 1992 Annual Catalog. If you lived through this time or you just would like to reflect on the 1990s, these would be great additions to your ephemera collection. I will more than likely be offering those up at a live sale after I look at them because I like the catalogs from the, you know, early 60s and back. I think the earliest catalog that I have from stores like this is from, it's either Montgomery Ward or Sears. No, it's a Sears catalog from 1923. And then I've got Montgomery Ward catalogs from, I think one's from the 30s. And then I've got some from, I got a Sears catalog from 1942. I've got a bunch of, I love looking through them catalogs. Yeah, I have a lot of them. Most of them I will not part with. I do have one Sears catalog from 1985 with Stephanie Powers from Heart to Heart on the front of it. I'm unsure as to whether or not I'll be parting with that because that's the only one I've seen at an affordable price. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll get sick of it and be like, eh, just stick to your 50s and 60s stuff. But yeah, I definitely had to pick these up. I may let my mom look at them too because she might want to reminisce um, when she was... Uh, you know, in her late teens into her 20s. So those were a really good pickup at $6.50 a piece. For $1.56, I got a bag of swizzle sticks, but there were a few other cool things in there. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's in there, shall we? So whilst digging through the bag, there were a lot of duplicates, so I didn't want to pull all of them out and show them because that would be boring. But I pulled out a couple I thought were interesting. So we've got a swizzle stick for the Ilakai Waikiki. That's got a very 50s vibe to it, I think. We've got a bunch of these cow ones, which I think I've had before. This was for the Golden Ox in Washington, D.C. I love this one with the clown. Sorry, clown haters. This one is for Trader Vic's. Manahunes. So that'll be staying with me. Maybe it's not a clown. It almost looks like one. Maybe it's just the mascot for Trader Vix. And then we've got these giraffes, which I've never seen before. I thought those were really, really neat. And then to top it off, there were four bottles of perfume in here, which is strange. Now, I know I definitely can make some money on these. These, I believe, are White Diamonds by Elizabeth Taylor. If I lot the four of them together, I might be able to add $15, $20 for them. And I think that's fair. They're all relatively full. One might be missing a little bit. But I think somebody out there who wants just a travel size bottle of this stuff will definitely buy it. And for the buck fifty-six, heck yeah. And then this was in there too. This is a fountain pen where you pour the ink in and you write with it. It's missing the lid. I don't see a name on it, so I'm not exactly sure. Oh, nope. There's a, this is Parker, made in USA. This is Parker, made in USA right here. So I will look that up. I 
don't know that that's going to have any value to it because it's missing a lid. But we shall see. So that was everything that was in the first bag. So this bag of goods was $3.16. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. So here's what was in that bag. So we got this French provincial looking lady who I think was probably at one time a little crumb broom because she's got the holes where the, I guess, straws of hay were sewn into her. I don't know that that holds any value, but I might try selling that individually at a live sale for just like maybe four or five bucks. And then we've got this little deer figurine who unfortunately was broken and the guy felt so bad. I told him, don't worry about it for the 316 that I got the bag for. It uh, didn't really matter. So I might try regluing that and just throwing that in as like a little gift. I know that crazy glue will fix that. And it was a very clean break. So all you have to do is, well, I'm not going to attempt to do that one handed. But yeah, it, it makes it look like it was never even broken. It was just one of those clean cuts. And then we've got these little figures on barrels. They're playing instruments. Probably a dime store piece, or maybe they're souvenirs from Mexico. That's what I'm getting from those. We've got this, I think it's a beaver or an otter, pewter figurine. It is marked on the bottom. I'm having a hard time reading that. It does say pewter. I will do my research on that just to see if it has any value to it. If not, I'll probably put it in a live sale. And then we've got some Wade figurines. As we all know, Wade figures were put into Red Rose Tea in England. It looks like this was part of a nativity set. We got the, maybe it's Mary and Joseph, or maybe it's just a wise man and some lady. And then I've got two chickens and a lion. So I'll probably group the four of those together and probably ask eight. So that's $2 each. I think that's a very fair price for the Wade figures. So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure and check me out on Instagram, the link to it is down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys!